Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is David, your tour guide in Israel. Today's tour is to the Jerusalem Archaeological Park endowed by William Davidson, so it's called the Davidson Center. The archaeological park is the first site you see as you enter the old city through the Dung Gate. There are actually two ways to enter the park. The main gate, which is to your left after you enter Dung Gate. But there is another entrance, and that is underground. If you are visiting the City of David, then the two sites are connected by an ancient underground tunnel. This was Jerusalem's drainage system, and it has been excavated and cleaned. The exit of the tunnel is right in the middle of the Herodian Street, just below Robinson's Arch. This is the Herodian Street. And there is the wall. The Western Wall. So in the first century, Herod builds the second temple of Jerusalem. It's considered the largest and most beautiful, magnificent building in the ancient world. But when we tour this archaeological park, I can show you quite a few things that are still visible from the days of Herod. This corner here is the western southern corner of the Temple Mount. Look at the size of these rocks. This is one stone. From here, that's the width. Look how long it is. This is like 10 meters long. And uh, look at the, how high this is. This is all Herodian building. Now, one of the rocks that they found lying around on the floor had this niche carved into it and an inscription. I'm sure you can see the inscription. Okay, Lebe Tatkia something. Okay, here. Lebe Tatkia Lehavdil. And to the place of the trumpeting too. In the Second Temple days, this stone probably marked the place at the top of the southwest corner of the Temple Mount where the trumpeter announced the inauguration and the close of the Shabbat. So the trumpeter would stand here on the corner and he would announce the Shabbat and there's the corner and there's the inscription. Okay, le bet at le. And this stood probably all the way up there on the corner of the Temple. This pile of rocks was found exactly as it is on this street. This is evidence of the destruction, the destruction of Herod's temple by the Romans on the day of the destruction, Tisha B'Av, the ninth day of the Jewish month Av in the year 70 AD. So we are walking on the original road. It remains of Jerusalem's main street running the length of the western wall about one kilometer. This is the beginning of an arch, follow my finger, that would be completed on that foundation and that would hold a staircase that would make it possible for people to climb up and reach the top of the Temple Mount. Everyone calls this Robinson's Arch, named after Edward Robinson, the first uh, surveyor who identified this structure is being part of the access to the temple. This whole area here is one of the most exciting in the tour. It is called the Ophel Mikveh Trail. During the period of the Second Temple, the pilgrims, the people from Judea, Galilee, Nazareth, when they came to visit the temple on the pilgrimage festivals, Sukkot, Pesach, Shavuot, they would probably come through here. 
Why do we think that? Because this is where they found many, many of the mikvaot. Okay, the purification baths. Like this one here. Rock cut Jewish ritual bath mikveh from the second temple period, first century. As you can walk down one side, there's the parapet, there's the, and into the mikveh. This would be full of water. Okay, we can even see the hydraulic plaster still here on the walls. And then once you're purified, you come out from the other side. Dozens and dozens of these purification baths were found. And after the pilgrim is pure, now it is time for him to walk up to the temple. And these steps, okay, the steps leading up to the temple would lead through these doors. They're called the doors of Khulda. Okay, and guess what? These steps were found in the excavations. And these are the original steps, which now we will walk up together to where the gates of the temple were. Okay, so the steps are built in a, in a way that there's only one. One step is wide and the other is narrow. Okay, two, na two narrow steps and one wide step. Two narrow steps and one wide step. Why is that? to prevent you from running, okay? You want to walk up to the temple gently. You want to walk up with respect. And you want to walk up and reach the holy site, full of awe. These are the original stones, okay? From the days of the temple. There's actually an inscription here. So these are uh, three arches that you can see here. They're not from the uh, Second Temple period. They're probably medieval, maybe like uh, from the Crusader period. But they mark the location of the entrance doors to the Temple Mount. So this whole area here that we call the Ophel, this is where the pilgrims would gather. And when they're ready, they would pay the tax, the half a shekel. And from here, they would enter through these gates and come out at the platform on the top to visit the Jewish temple. So everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this tour of the Davidson Center, the South Wall Excavations. So if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. Write a comment and let me know where you'd like to go on our next tour of Wonderful Israel. Until then everyone, Litrot, Shalom, goodbye, take care.